Uh, it's a continuation of the previous uh, lecture. So we have seen up to how the channel is formed. So when we apply some voltage, so positive voltage, so it will ripple the positive charge be, be, beneath the, the, this oxide layer. So which will ripple and which, uh, leave behind the negative ions or unbound charges. So if we apply more voltages, so this will attract the number of uh, electrons present in the p type substrate as well as the these regions and plus regions. Then the moment channel is formed, so we need to apply some sufficient voltage that is called threshold voltage. So the threshold voltage at which the number of electrons present in the channel will be equal to the number of holes present in the p tap substrate. Now, now channel is formed. So this channel is called channel length. The, it will have some length L. Then it will have some width W. So depending on these W and L ratios, we will have different different types of current ratios that we will see in the later. Now the moment channel is found, unless until we apply some voltage at the drain, it will not, the number of electrons will not move, then only the current flows. Now if I apply a small voltage VDS which is greater than 0, so what will happen, it will attract the number of electrons present in the channel. So this number of electrons, so you can say it is uniform in nature. So, so the moment it will, uh, when you apply some positive voltage, it will attract the number of electrons present in the this channel. So it will be continuation process that from source to drain, there is a continuation process because this Vs and Vs always it is a grounded. So when we apply, so the number of electrons which are flowing from lower potential to higher potential so there is a continuation process so there is a like so the current will flow now when you apply and we are increasing the vds so there is a electric field will be generated so this is a n plus and this is a p type substrate so there is a reverse bias it is generating so whenever there is a reverse bias so there is a electric field will be generated so this electric field will attract the this uh, number of electrons because it is a p and this this positive and this is a so negative so it will be attract these number of electrons into the drain now when you apply more number of the supply or voltage the number of electrons will move very fast so whenever it is moving or taking less time to reach the drain the current is going on increasing now what happens when we apply more voltage compared to the small voltage so small voltage generally it is called vds is less than or equal to less than very much less than vgs minus vt now if i apply very large voltage what will happen see whenever there is a junction between n plus and uh, this p type substrate there is a when vds is very high the depletion region at this drain end is very you know swallow or it will be very high in, uh, at the drain terminal or it will be now if you compare to the source terminal so this is very swallow in nature so whenever there is a high or uh, depletion layer width is very high the number of electrons present at the drain end will be somewhat it will decrease compared to the the end, uh, end region or source region so what happens is at sufficient voltage that is called VD, VOV overdrive voltage or it is also called VGS minus VT the channel will be pinched off that means the number of electrons which are coming from source to drain will be constant in nature or it will be pinch off at the drain end so the moment it is pinch off so the current will be remain constant after this voltage whenever vds is greater than previously it was no when you increase the vds so we are getting current is very when it is moving from source to drain it will be very quick the moment it is pinched off right there is no again the electric field will be high and they will move very fast so the number of electrons which are coming from source to drain will be constant as well as they will uh, in, a, in a fixed time they will come from source to drain so that's why the current will be constant at this voltage that's why the MOSFET we say it is in saturation region that is the current getting a constant now if we apply more voltage that is VDS is greater than VO VR VGS minus VT the channel length this is actually L this channel length will getting decrease 
right so whenever the channel length is getting decrease now the number of electrons will move to very small length right so the current will go on increasing so that is called channel length modulation effect so again i'm repeating the moment when vds is equal to v over v the channel will be pinch off so the number of electrons which are reaching from source to drain will be constant or in a particular in a constant time they will move from source to drain the moment when we apply more vds so the channel will, length will be decreases so now the number of electrons will uh, uh, pass or will have to travel this less distance only whenever there is a less distance the less time they will travel so more current we will get so that's why now when you apply more vds come uh, depending on v over v we will get some channel length modulation effect so the id will get increase so that is called channel length modulation effect right when we uh, draw iv characteristics of a mosfet it will become like this so this drain current id versus vds id versus vds so initially there is just current increment so when slowly when the moment when vds is reached to vgs minus vt or it is also called v over v the current will be constant but if we increase vds beyond this if we apply the channel length modulation concept there is a slight increment right so there is a slope actually for this there is no slope the moment there is a channel length modulation effect comes channel length modulation so there is a slope between this this slope is called generally 1 by r not so that is the output impedance of the mosfet generally so that is anyway we will see later so this is the id versus vds characteristics for a particular vgs or generally vt now if i apply more vgs i will get more current if i use less vgs i will get less current reason is the number of electrons present in the channel will be depending on the vgs suppose this is vgs1 vgs2 and vgs3 etc so if you go again this channel length i the number of electrons present in the channel will be depend on the gate voltage so so that's why when we apply some voltage vgs so the number of electrons present in the channel depend on the vgs so this is a channel length l and we are applying some vgs so what is electric field is equal to v by l so depending on the vgs applied and depending on the channel length there is electric field generated so due to this electric field only the current is is controlled so or we can say vgs is controlling the current so that's why it is called field effect transistor the current id is controlled by the vgs now we have to write the current expressions for the three different conditions now we'll have three modes of operation that is cut off mode or cut off region regions of operations regions of operation so cut off region one more is there this is called triode region or it is also called linear region because i current is linearly proportional to this voltage next third one is saturation region so for this cut off region will have condition is vg should be less than vt that is no channel is formed so that means no channel means no current so always the current will be zero in a triode region we can say channel is there vgs is greater than vt but vds is less than the vgs minus vt now for the saturation region vgs is greater than vt and vds is greater than vgs minus vt or at least vds is greater than or equal to vgs minus vt now in a in the next lecture we'll see the current equ expressions in the these uh, different regions